Well, welcome back into Studio 10. And we told you March is Craft Month. And we're using every Monday to show you guys different ways that you can get creative and get unique. So today we have someone from Reach Art Studios, Miss Sheila Moore, who's here with us in studio today. How are you? Good. How are you? Great, great, great. So Good. tell us a little bit about jelly printing. How did you get started with this? I would say it was totally um, serendipity because mm -hmm. I was trying to find creative outlets mm -hmm. and I discovered it because I'm on Pinterest a lot yep. and YouTube and I saw it and I was intrigued because I'm not a drawer and the fact that it's abstract and organic uh -huh. and, and it can just take on many forms and so I got hooked. That's awesome. And I can get lost through Pinterest sometimes. I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Can yes. So can you show us just a little bit about some of the designs that you've brought in here with us today? Well, one thing about um, gel printing, I'm a sewer. I've sewn since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. So I, but I, I wanted to get beyond making clothes. So I s discovered that with gel printing, it can work on fabric. Awesome. So what you can do is you lay down your paint, mm -hmm. different colors sometimes on one plate. Okay. And then you uh, roll it out with a brayer. Okay. And then you can just do various markings. I use stencils, I use wow. stamps, I just sometimes use a stick and go all around. And then you just, you lay the fabric down and it picks up whatever print that you awesome. have put on the plate. How and amazing. so this is, and so I have a stack of pieces of fabric mm -hmm. and one day I just sat down and just cut them all up in various shapes and I did a uh, technique just applique stitching mm -hmm. and stitched them to this piece of fabric. Nothing really has to be wasted with gel printing so this is leftover from wow. this cool. and so I decided to uh -huh. do a pillow. That's amazing. That's a good idea. And so I just, again, using applique stitching, I applied it to this fabric, and then I did a little stamping. Okay. No, I mean, I'm sorry, this is um, stenciling. Okay. I have some stencils, and I stenciled to just make some additional markings on there. That's so awesome. that fabric got used up. And then we can even do this on a canvas as well. Can you show as us a well. little bit about this? And this here is... Um, uh, I followed a tutorial mm -hmm. and I had stacks of paper that I had gel printed and it's deli paper, the kind of paper the delis use. Okay. And I had a stack of various prints and I just tore them up in pieces, applied it to a blank canvas. I used a picture that I printed mm -hmm. um, off and this was my focal point and I just laid it out and just, uh, just gelled it down. And so this is what I came up with, and I plan to hang this in my house. That is beautiful. How amazing. Well, I want you to actually show us how mm -hmm. to start jelly printing, because I know we have the materials here. So can you show us how do we get started? OK, the most basic thing you do, so uh, if you're going to, you want to practice it, so let's take let's this. Start. I tell let's you what, we can leave this on here, actually. OK. Because we'll I want you to right pick up this image. So take a little paint. OK. And you just. Oh, yeah, why don't you do it? I feel like I'm going to start getting. I don't yeah. want to get oh, too gosh. Messy. Okay. You just dot a little bit of paint okay. onto the surface, and then this is a brayer. Okay. And you take your brayer, and you just do quick rolls like this. Okay. So you can get the paint on the surface, okay? And these are my small plates. I have much larger plates than this, too. Okay, so you just wow. roll it on there. All right. And you take, and this is the deli paper, and you just take a piece, and you lay it on top. And you just move it, just massage kind of smooth it, on it a little out bit. a little bit. And as you see, it's picking it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so, the, so then you just lift it and it picks up. Oh, my God. The impression. Oh, I see. And the results are going to vary. It's yeah. so serendipity. Oh, it can become many different things. And the paint that you use, there are different factors on how intense the print is going to be. You so. could put like oh, multicolor. Multicolors. You, yeah. you could add multiple colors to this. But I wanted to show you the most basic. This is the most basic, yeah. where it's just one pull, one um, image. And then you could just take it from that. And you can actually, what they call layering, you can let that dry and you can put something else down on your plate and you can do it again. That's amazing. So, and, and it can cool. take, and, and a lot of these, like that's what that is here and here. I just laid it again what I wanted laid to. Laid again, and then you yes. just sewed it on like you said, like it's applique. Yes. And I know we were speaking earlier, you had the, uh, you're actually wearing one of your <laughs> designs as well. Can you show us? Yes, please. 
I did a little something called uh, repurposing. I didn't like this shirt anymore. I decided mm -hmm. to take it in a different direction. So. Let's and, that, and I see the stitching around it right here mm -hmm. as well. How amazing is that? It's, uh, and this is, for, some call it upcycling. Uh, just if it's something that you want to just do something different with, uh, you can just change it out. So. That's yeah. awesome. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. And if people wanted to take a class with you, I know you teach at Reach Art Studios. You do jelly p uh, printing. But what else do you do as well? Well, I also, um, I do a lot. I'm in, very much in the learning stage, but what I would encourage people to do is mm -hmm. just just get started. And I, you know, I, I'm on Facebook, um, so I can be reached there if you want any suggestions on courses. So um, right now, I'm, I'm just really a student as well and just That's developing awesome. something I really love because it's really um, a creative outlet. Uh -huh. It's therapeutic and it's just a lot of fun. That's so. awesome. And like you said, regardless of whatever age, this is something that anybody can take part anybody, of and join. The kids in, in my REACH class, the sewing class, did their bags. We, they did drawstring bags. They did a jelly print on the bag first and then they made the bags. That's so. awesome. Well, thank you so yes. much for showing this and showing us this incredible craft that you guys can do at home.